Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, August 12, 2016. This week using the text path tools in Photoshop Elements. The most recent versions of Photoshop Elements have three tools for creating text on a path. They're the text on selection tool, the text on shape tool, and the text on custom path tool. These three tools make wrapping text around a shape a quick and easy task and are a great addition to your digital toolkit. Here's how to use each of these tools. To use the text on selection tool, open an image in Photoshop Elements version 10 or later. Get the text on selection tool by choosing the type tool and then clicking on the text on selection option down in the tool options at the bottom of the screen. The icon looks like a T surrounded by a dotted box. Choose the Add to Selection icon next to that, and then select your font, font size, and font color here in the tool options. With this tool selected, your cursor is a circle with a plus sign inside. You can increase the size of the cursor by pressing the right bracket key, and you can decrease the size of the circle using the left bracket key. Scribble on the portion of the image that you want to surround with text. If the selection goes out of bounds, tick the Subtract From icon down in the Tool Options and scribble to erase away the extra portion of the selection. Tick the green check mark that appears under the selection and move your cursor over to the selection that you created. It will change to an eye icon with a wavy line through it. Click and begin typing. Tick the green check mark to confirm your text. At this point, you can get the Move tool to drag, resize, or reposition the text on your image. Press Control T or on a Mac system, Command T to get the transform controls around your text if you want to resize it. Next, we'll look at the Text on Shape tool. The Text on Shape tool can be accessed by choosing the Type tool from the Tool panel. And then in the tool options at the bottom of the screen, select the text on shape icon, which looks like a T on a piece of wavy paper. To the right of the tool icon, choose from the shapes offered. There's a rectangle, rounded rectangle, ellipse, polygon, heart, speech bubble, and butterfly. Select one of those and then choose your font, font size, font color, over to the right of that in the tool options. Click and drag out the shape of your choice. When you position the cursor on the edge of the shape, it changes to an eye with a wavy line through it. Click and type your text. Your text will surround the shape that you drew. Click the green check mark to confirm your text. Next, we'll look at the text on custom path tool. If you're good at freehand drawing, Try using the Text on Custom Path tool by clicking the Type tool and then selecting the Text on Custom Path icon down in the Tool Options. It looks like a T with a wavy line under it. To the right of the Tool icon, choose Draw or Modify. You're going to start with Draw and then select your font, font style, font color, and size. Click and drag out a shape on your document. Switch to the Modify icon instead of the Draw icon to alter the shape that you've drawn. You can just click on any of these little anchor points to alter the shape. Tick the green check mark to confirm the shape. When you position your cursor over on the edge of the shape, it changes to an eye with a wavy line through it. Click and type your text. Your text will surround the shape that you drew. Click the green check mark to confirm your text. Using these Photoshop Elements tools, you can surround embellishments, paper mats, element clusters, and any other page elements with your text. And the next tip will work on the full version of Photoshop to type on a selection. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for the next Designer Digitals tip.